Hello everybody, welcome back to Seavolus. Guys, I got my world working again. We were having an issue uh, where it kept crashing about a minute after I would get it loaded. I ended up finding out it was like a glitched block. Uh, so broke it and then we're good to go. So we're, we're, we're back here. Um, so let's go ahead and get this farty parted. So uh, we're going to be working obviously on getting to the nether today and exploring. But there are a few things we got to do before we go ahead and do that. One is sleep because the night time is here and there's rain and no one really likes the rain so yeah we're gonna go ahead and sleep here real quick and then we are gonna go up here we have any friends no i died i died there don't wor don't worry about it don't don't worry we have a, a shining block of diamond in here that we need uh because if we surround some water on the ground here like this and if we surround it with flowers, and then we go shebang. Shebang. What? Oh, wait. I have these backpacks for our exploration today. And one of them has a magnet that keeps picking things up. Yeah, so can we disable the magnet real quick? Is that a thing? Yeah, if we just do that, it's disabled. Okay. So here we go. All right. That did make any lightning noises, but uh, it made the portal of the twilight. Uh, now, we're not going to go there just yet. We are actually going to be live streaming that uh, tomorrow from when this video came out. Uh, if you guys watch the playlist, it should be the next thing in the playlist. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, but uh, now that that's been made and the teaser for the live stream tomorrow is up, uh, we're going to go ahead and work on getting to the nether. That's all we're doing with the Twilight Forest today, so <laughs> gotcha. So obviously we need to go ahead and enter into the nether first, uh, but we need to go ahead and make these map generators um, so that we can do some fun stuff. So we're going to need a bunch of the compass, uh, which the compass... In this mod pack is pouring a molten iron onto redstone. Now I've already got the molten iron in here, so we can just go ahead and select that. That looks more orange than it used to. I don't know. I might be crazy. So yeah, that looks orange because that's red. That's clearly orange. They've messed it up. They messed it up. That's fine. All right, so we're gonna need actually quite a few of those. Um, so make one of these one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna need two. So we're gonna need ten total. Okay. So I'm gonna let this go for a bit and we'll we'll be back once it's done. So we got a little more than the ten that we needed. Uh, so we get to save some redstone. Very cool. Uh, the next thing we're gonna be doing is putting the bones in here. Oh, we are we used up all of the iron. Oh, my backpack picked it up. I'm not used to having something this cool okay so in order to get the uh fortress we're gonna need these necrotic bones now you can kill some wither skeletons to get them we're not we're not cool like that actually we're too cool for that we're gonna be putting some bones in there with some of the obsidian it's gonna pour onto it give us the necrotic bones we only need a total of four of these so while we're waiting for that to be done we're gonna go over here and create the second one uh we're gonna make Oh, we got to make these guys, actually. Uh, that worried me for a second. Let's grab some sugar cane. All right, let's go ahead and create these map generators here. Okay, that worried me for about two seconds, but we're good. We're good. Two seconds are over. So, oh, <laughs> I feel dumb. Ah. Uh... We got to make more of those. Ah, that's fine. We can make. We just need two more. If you ever feel dumb, just remember I'm probably dumber. All right. How many of those? We're good. We don't need the crog bones anymore, which is great. So we're going we're gonna to actually finish that off, though. And then we are going to throw the redstone back in here because we're goofballs. Put the orange iron down here. All right. We got our two kampai. Kumpai? Compasses? Kumpai? Something like that. Um, so let's go ahead and create these map generators. Perfect. All right. So go ahead, Bastion 1, and the Fortress 1. Perfect. All right. 
So I'm not too sure how these work, but I do know that as soon as we uh, generate this portal is going to be interesting. Hop in. That's that's loud. I can turn it down for me though. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, just avoid. Let's see how far down it goes. Okay. I want to make sure. Oh dear gosh, something disconnected. That was terrifying. My freaking stream deck disconnected while I was falling. And then it like took control. Dude, that was scary. Oh gosh. The speed. It's too much. Uh please just let me get on there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Please. Please let me get on. No! Please! No! <laughs> I don't wanna die. No. 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 Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. I'm terrified of this place. All right, so I don't know how the map generators work, so we're gonna test those out. Um, so here we go. Let's see. Does the quest tell us how to use them? Creates a map to a bastion rem uh, remnant when broken in the Nether. Son of. A has to be broken in the nether are you kidding well we don't have everything I feel dumb just get out of here I don't no one wants to see that we have to oh my gosh there are some days where I seriously think I just shut off my brain like today is one of those days okay so we are back in the nether and those that Portal is so stinking loud. Holy crap. Okay. So map generator. This is a fortress. Okay. So that was picked up by our backpack. Okay. So there's our fortress. Now let's do the bastion. All right. That one was picked up as well. All right. So we're going to use this one. And we need to head, it uh, looks like south. So this way. Okay. So let's go M. Add a waypoint. Portal. Cool thing is we won't have to worry about anything crazy. We're going to add two different portals. All right. So... Jetpack should be on. Yep, jetpack is on. Let's put this in our offhand. And we're going to head that way. All right, look at that. We already found the fortress. Okay, so... That's good. Let's go ahead, accept that. So what do we need to do now that we're here in the fortress? Kill a blaze, kill a wither skeleton. Okay, so that's our next goal. Look at that, we got our blaze right here. I'm gonna die. This is it. I'm just gonna be floating around here for a little bit, you know? Just, just chilling. The reason this is so scary is because everything is spawning in the fortress. All right, so I killed one blaze, perfect. Let's go back. Um, we got some wither skellies here. Frick, these are small ones. They cheating. Okay, so that didn't count. But 
we can bait these guys in. Yep, we can bait them in. Hello. There we go. Okay. We got him. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now we can kind of reorganize our brains. Okay. So those are done. Uh, the Wither Skulls we will be working on later. Sometimes drop off Wither Skull's head. Beheading on Tinker's Tools makes this a lot easier. We can actually just turn... We can make our own wither skeletons to kill the wither and eventually get this. So we're not going to do this here because it's going to be a lot more difficult because there's no other place for the mobs to spawn than the fortress. So it's going it, to, it's kind of annoying. Uh, so now we're going to work on this guy. All right, we're coming up on the bastion. Hey, there it is. All right, so we have to kill a few guys here. Piglin, a pig man is not one of them. You are though. Oh gosh. So what all do we have to kill? Um, let's see. The piglin brute, we got it. A piglin. So normal one, and then a magma cube. This is the one I want to take out. Okay, we got the piglin. Perfect. Now we need to spawn in a magma cube. And they should be down toward the bottom a little bit. I think we go back to the fortress and try to kill a magma cube there. I think that's our best bet. All right, we got magma cube. Got another one. Okay, we got that small one, but he's around a bunch of people. I don't want. Can we just have like a, like one all by himself? How about over here? Anybody want to be cool? Anybody want to be cool? He said, "I want to be cool." All right, so we killed the magma cube. Let's head back. Ha, I'm better. I'm better this time. All right, we are back under the sea. Let's see what we got. We got, ooh, ancient debris, golden axe, chain, diamond pickaxe. Cool. Spectral arrows, crimson chest. Oh, a looting three iron sword. Very cool. And we got some sea bucks. All right, so we got six sea bucks. We just need... How many do we need? Uh, 40, 43 more. That's all we need. Okay. So our adventures to the nether were successful. Uh, so I guess all that's left now is this quest line is to... Uh, get 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 some bread so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a beheading weapon and we're probably gonna go back and wreck some wither skellies because you know looking looking at it you know it's just gonna be easier to do that with. so we need those tools so we're gonna be doing a little bit of some tinkers today hope you guys like that so we got some patterns here let's go ahead and put them in all right we need to make our the big blade we're gonna need some gold too And then we're also going to need some cobblestone. Good thing we have our materials here. All right. So you. Tough handle. And then we need the large plate because we like to eat. We like to party, party. We like to party. Very cool. So by default, these pad are this weapon we're making uh, will give us like a beheading uh, ability. Weapon for small tree, high range attacks, and cut through with toughest pose. pose. Um, so yeah, we need to go ahead and make these materials. We're gonna make it out of cobalt. And I believe we can actually 
We can make some manu manilium, manilium. You guys will correct me down below. So if we go uses, should be able to show you guys infusion, induction smelter. Yeah, so one to three, okay. All right, so we got 20 ingots here, very cool. We can go ahead and throw those in here. Not enough heat, okay. So it means we gotta throw them over here into this guy. This is where our, our, our good stuff is. And the cool thing is we have this here. So get out of there, this <laughs> drawer. All right, so we're gonna make this out of that. We have the manilium, perfect. Manilium, manilium, manilion. There's an N at the end. Oh, not an M. Crazy. All right, and then I think we're going to make the large plate. Frick, don't do that. Can we make the large plate out of obsidian? I don't think we can. Okay. That's, that's fine. We'll make the rest of the materials out of cobalt because we're cool. If you guys know a better combo of things, let me know down in the comment sections, and we'll we'll test those out next episode. Uh, see if they give us any you know, better yield or anything like that. All right, so all of our materials should be good to go now. This one will finish up, and yes, sir. We should be able to come here, go like this, go like this, boom, boom. Yes, okay. So we got two upgrades there. What we can do is if we look at Tinkers, we should be able to find the book. Yes, so Mighty Smelting. Does this go into upgrades? No, this one does. Materials and you. Modifiers. All right, so Diamond. believe there's a beheading one they've removed that um, so we can take an end crystal and get an additional slot okay so these are upgrades I guess okay adds an upgrade slot cool all right so it looks like that unfortunately we're just there's no additional upgrades we're just gonna have to Slay. Oh, we need to bring some kind of ranged attack. I think we're going to go with the shuriken method here. Um, yeah, we're just going to bring a bunch of these with us. All right, let's see. Frick, that's a baby. Wait, what? They're playing music over here? Alright, so I think the best thing for the cleaver is probably going to be to get some sharpness on it so that we're doing a lot more damage when we're attacking. Um, so let's see. So we go from 11.5 damage... And now we're at 13. We can go up a bit more. So it should be a near one shot for most people, for most of these guys. All right, 14.5. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and see if we can grab some more of those uh, modifiers. End crystal. Do we have any gas tears? Oh, look at that. We have some gas tears. All right, so we can add some sharpness, which is going to be fantastic. All right, now is it just one per? Let us find out. This thing does 16 hearts of damage. Let's make one more of those. If not, you know, we can just throw it on a different tool. I don't believe it, it will. That would be pretty OP. Yeah. So we can go like this. 
and add one onto here. This gives us a, an upgrade. And we're going to take this off and this off. Alright, so we got netherite on. Perfect. Is there a way for us to put like an actual... Nah, we're fine. Wait, can we put armor on this guy? No. We can't enchant it, though. Okay. Let's take the jetpack off. We're not going to enchant the shuriken. Oh, you can't. Okay, so you can only, I guess, not do that. Protection to four. I'm okay with that. Protection to four. I'm okay with that. Can we enchant the boots as well? We cannot. Okay. So let's go try to get some uh, wither skulls. <laughs> Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, so something I want to try out real quick. We did have a creeper head over in our... Um, our mob farm, yes, yeah, so we have an extra ability. I want to see if we put in you, if we can put like looting on it, uh, because that is probably what we need. Hmm. So is that not one of the things anymore again? Because uh, I remember at one point uh, you could looting was like lapis. So let's see. I guess not. So. Is there an enchantment remover? The enchantment... We can make that, because there is an ability for us to put looting. Uh, but let's see if we can actually like enchant these guys. Oh, we need to grab a book real quick. Something that we might be able to throw onto a tool. Do we have anything? Curse of Bones. Okay, Soulbound. Um, we need an anvil. Okay. Hmm. I don't think the ability to put looting on this is a thing anymore. Okay. Well, that kind of uh, kind of hurts our plan. Let's let's try uh, finishing up what we, what I was doing earlier. Uh, so we're gonna take we're gonna get some glass. I was doing this off camera. Dark glass. Perfect. And we're going to make our way over here. And... Uh, so those are actually still spawning in. Okay. Place this there. Place that there. And then we go away. There should be some wither skellies that start showing up. Oh, frick. It still seems to be a bug. Interesting. I'm going to put that there to keep those guys away. But uh, anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. Be on the lookout for the live stream tomorrow. It's going to be great. We're going to go through the Twilight Forest. I do have to remove Optifine uh, for it, which is kind of lame, but, you know, who cares? Uh, but anyways, guys, hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all tomorrow for the live stream. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.